Today I am going to explain this instrument. We are going to make unboxing for this particular instrument. This is the SKF handheld vibration instrument. So I will make a review and a preview for this particular instrument. So here is what we are going to open it. So just we received this. This is from SKF. And now we are going to open it. So the first thing will be opened here. We are getting the SKF um, some card for the vibration and GE values. This is what is the very basic. We all know about this. So side and uh, here is of course the user manual for the instrument. This is from the SKF also, and it is explaining some basics and some advanced things about the instrument. So, so also we are going to put it here. And here are certificates on which we want to purchase this instrument. So these are the certificates as you can see. And then we have a product registration here from SKF of course. And here is another thing the machine condition detector MCT probe. This is regarding this probe. We are giving some details also sort of you can say the user manual the short one and here is the certificate the calibration certificate so this instrument is already calibrated while we are receiving it and here is what is the main unit we are going to open it so this one you can see here is the main unit and if we switch it on the battery is there of course here is the battery, they are just taking two batteries AA size and uh, here what it is showing is on the display we can see the first thing is the velocity in millimeter per second the next is the acceleration GE and the other is time we can see the time is not correct at the moment we will correct it because this is new and also it is showing temperature if we will put the temperature probe I am going to show you that thing and here are the three buttons, three LEDs Three LEDs are showing, of course, the um, health of the machine. It's so red, uh, yellow, and green. This is sort of traffic signal, you can say, and the severity of the machine and severity of the vibration. Here is the light. If we are going to make it make work in the night, so we can press it and momentarily it will give light for a certain while, so that we will read the reading. And here is the on-off button, and here is the hold button, and here is also the hold button is there it is for the taking of reading reinitializing and then holding so it's like that and over here you can see this one this is uh, the underneath there is a RS232 uh, interface and here is the small RS232 uh, pro probe or you can say the connector that is for the connection to the computer we are not going to use it and the main instrument we are going to put it aside and the other thing which is important enough that is the sensor and very very much expensive also in this one here in my hand you can see this is the sensor we are going to remove it unbox it so this one is the sensor this will go on the main unit here like this so easy fix little threads are there but those are not actually threads only fix and we are going to remove this plastic thing which they put it the cap and here we can see there is the temperature sensor and this is the magnet so that it will be hold on the metal bodies metal machine body like this and here now you can see the temperature is there before the temperature was not coming the reason was there was no more sensor over there so sensor is there now it is showing the temperature also and uh, what I'm going to show you is I have to hold it to some machine so that you will see the magnetic effect like this you can see this is holding properly 
and this is what is a very very much beautiful feature of the magnetic sensor because we are not normally needing a magnetic sensor to check the vibration something like that this is not actually why I'm going to reject machine this is not a machine which is giving vibration but just taking an example it will do like this so this is what is a little bit of the uh, review for this SKF handheld it's a very nice instrument we are normally using and very tough also and I'm recommending this so this instrument is good enough and you can buy it but it's a bit expensive also and very nice thing for the condition condition monitoring all the time one should have in his hand this one and here you can see this is a small casing in which we can hold on to our belts so that it will be held and uh, will be taken to the site something like that so this was the preview for this instrument and uh, thank you for watching keep on watching i will bring a lot lot of videos preview technology 